we now move to the conditions of consumers equilibrium before that i like to mention in fact repeat some of the assumptions on which this equilibrium is based i'll take these assumptions in brief the details we have already studied the assumptions are utility is ordinal that is expressed in ranking second the consumer is rational means the consumer wants to satisfy or the consumer wants to obtain maximum satisfaction from spending his income number 3 marginal rate of substitution is continuously falling we have already explained why does it fall and why do we assume then fourth assumption is preferences are monotonic which means we assume that more goods means more satisfaction so we have four assumptions utility is ordinal consumer is rational marginal rate of substitution is continuously falling and preferences are monotonic in the exam it is not necessary that you state the assumptions first unless you are specifically asked for jab tak aap se pucha na jaye ki assumptions bhi bataiye alag se mention karne ki zarurat nahi hai if you want to be careful ke miss na ho jaye to ek ek hi sentence mein charo assumptions bol jaye bas itna keh ke chhod dijiye unko explain karne ki आपको जरूरत नहीं सो इफ द क्वेश्चन इज ऑन एक्सप्लेन कंडीशन ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट अवे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दैट उसी से सीधा चालू हो जाइए कि देर आर टू कंडीशन ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स इक्विलिब्रियम दीज टू कंडीशन आर नंबर वन मार्जिनल रेट ऑफ सब्सटीट्यूशन इज इक्वल टू market rate of exchange remember we normally say px upon py this is on the assumption that x is represented on the x axis and y is represented on the y axis if you represent y on the x axis and x on the y axis it will be py upon px so x and y are not important what is important is this price of the good obtained you obtain x take this price divided by price of the good sacrificed in our example we are going to take x on the x axis which which consumer is going to obtain and y on the y axis which consumer is going to give up so therefore in our example it may mean this px upon py why it is so we i i've just given you the proof of this some time back why the uh, mre is the slope of budget line and why mre is equal to if we take x on the x axis and y on the y axis then mre is also equal to px upon py so from now onwards we can say that our condition becomes mrs is equal to px upon py remember this is on the assumption that x is represented on the x axis and y is represented on the y axis now what is the meaning of this the meaning is clear mrs represents the rate at which the consumer is willing to exchange ye wo rate hai jo consumer dena chahta hai this is the rate which consumer is willing to give market rate the rate at which actually exchanged this is the rate which consumer has to give 
आप बाजार जाते हैं चीज खरीदते हैं आपके दिमाग में एक प्राइस होती है दुकानदार ने अपनी प्राइस बता रखी है सौदा कब होगा जब दोनों प्राइस मिल जाएंगे वेन द प्राइस यू आर विलिंग टू पे इज इक्वल टू द प्राइस विच यू हैव टू पे इन द मार्केट दिस इज वाई यू नो वी से एम आर एस मस्ट बी इक्वल टू एम आर ई अगर इसे आम भाषा में समझे इन ए कॉमन लैंग्वेज इट सिंपली मीन्स दट प्राइस द कंज्यूमर इज विलिंग टू पे फॉर वन यूनिट ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू द प्राइस विच इज प्रिवेलिंग इन द मार्केट ओनली देन द एक्स विल बी परचेस्ड और वाई विल बी परचेस्ड ओनली देन इट विल हैपन सो दिस इज वट द फर्स्ट कंडीशन से सेकेंड कंडीशन इज दट एम आर एस फॉल्स एज मोर ऑफ वन गुड इज ऑबटेन्ड इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ दी अदर गुड वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन मेनी टाइम्स दिस कॉन्सेप्ट बट वट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट हेयर वी विल टेक अप ए लिटिल लेटर सो इफ इन द एग्जाम यू आर आस्ट स्टेट द कंडीशन ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट रिमेंबर द वर्ल्ड स्टेट एस टी ए टी ई Give the conditions of consumer's equilibrium. Mention the conditions of consumer's equilibrium. If you state these two conditions in this way, the answer is complete. But if the question is explain, so then first you have to state because there are separate marks for statement, and then you have to explain also because there are separate marks for explanation. now the question is uh what does this explanation means this will come in many other topics to explain karo it only means you have said a consumer will be in equilibrium when mrs is equal to mre the explanation is suppose mrs is not equal to mre what will happen why will a consumer not be in equilibrium remember equilibrium means a state of rest consumer is at rest when he finally decides what to buy and what not to buy if consumer is changing his plan he is not at rest he is not in equilibrium so we have to show why is consumer not in equilibrium why is consumer have the best plan why is changing the plan what reasons are given so explanation simply means what will happen when mrs is not equal to mre and what will happen if mrs doesn't fall agar mrs fall na kare to kya hoga okay so now we come to after explaining this uh, uh, after uh, uh, stating this let us now come to explanation of these conditions now explanation is suppose MRS is greater than MRE. Suppose MRS is greater than MRE. What will happen? We can have another way. If MRS is less than MRE, we will take it up little later. We have just stated what is MRS? The rate at which consumer is willing to exchange. वो X के लिए क्या rate देना चाहता है? The rate at which actually exchanged, उसको x पाने के लिए what rate he has to give in order to get x? 